Hello and welcome to this video showing how to easily build a Bluetooth controlled robot based on STM32 F072 Nucleo. The robot is made of three boards. The STM32 F072 Nucleo is used to control the robot. The shield bot from SEED embedding the motors, wheels, the battery, and the power management system and the Bluetooth module for the wireless communication available from www.cedstudio.com. Before assembling the board, go to www.embed.org and search for ST Nucleo CED Bot. From the repository toolbox, click Import This Program and load the code into your STM32 F072 Nucleo. For more information on how to use Embed resources, please watch the video Getting Started with ARM Embed Integrated Development Environment, available on the ST Online Media Channel on YouTube. Before assembling the boards, some hardware settings are required on the STM32 F072 Nucleo board. Set JP5 jumper to E5V and carefully crop the board here to allow the wheel to pass through the board without having to remove the ST-Link part, which is useful for your development. Close solder bridges SB62 and SB63, and open SB13, SB14, and SB21. Now you can assemble the robot by stacking the boards on their respective Arduino connectors. A free customizable Android utility tool called Bluetooth SPP is used to control the robot. Install the application on your Bluetooth-enabled Android handheld device. Now connect the battery and power on the robot. Then launch the Bluetooth SPP application. At application startup, the device scans for the Bluetooth devices within range. Once the scanning is completed, select the BT Slave 8 CED device and open the connection with the device. At first connection, enter PIN code 0000. Then select the keyboard mode. The keyboard GUI appears. First, go to the settings menu shown here and select set end flag. Then check other and erase all the characters in the hex value of end flag dialog box. Now to customize your interface and set the commands, open the settings menu, select button set and now you can assign to the button of your choice the control command to send. Press the button you want to customize, and enter here the button name, the byte to send when the button is pressed, and the byte to send when the button is released. Here is the button setup used in this demo. When the button setup is finished, open the settings menu and select button set completed. Your application is now ready to use. Now let's play with the robot. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, visit www.st.com slash stm32 and join the ST community on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and E2E.